Hello friends, I am Kausik and you are watching tutorials in English literature. In today's lesson, I am going to present a detailed summary and analysis of the Act 3 of William Congreve's The Way of the World. The Act 3 opens at the dressing room of Lady Wisford. In the first three scenes, we find Lady Wisford is very annoyed, she is in bad mood and she is talking with her servant Peg. So Lady Wisford is annoyed, she is impatient because she has been waiting for Fireball since morning because she sent Fireball on an important mission to send her picture to Sir Roland, the fake fictitious uncle of Mirabel. So she is now getting impatient because Foible has left without leaving any note or her whereabouts. And Peg is unable to control Lady Wisford because Peg does not know how to be a good servant. Lady Wisford is a rich woman and she wants that everybody surrounding her should regard her beautiful, intellectual, intelligent, a witty woman and should behave according to her mood. But Peg is not aware of these rules of servitude and so she becomes a victim of Lady Wisford's bad mood. When Lady Wisford asks her to bring the red color of makeup, she doesn't understand. And she wants to bring wine. That makes Lady Wisford more angry. And then when she asks her to bring wine, Peg brings wine in small cup, but Lady Wisford wants a big drink. And that is why she is getting angrier and angrier. At that time, they hear, they hear a knock on the door and Lady Wisford asks Peg to see who is knocking. And before that, she tells Peg to hide the bottle of wine. And when she comes to know that it is Mrs. Marut, she orders Peg to invite Marut. So here the first three scenes end. In the act three, scene four, Mrs. Marut enters into the room of Lady Wisford and she is surprised to watch Lady Wisford in, a, in her morning dress. Then Lady Wisford explains that Foyable is absent since morning and uh, so she is not prepared. Then Mrs. Marwood informs Lady Wisford that she has found Foyable talking with Mirabel. This information shocks Lady Wisford that her servant is talking with her enemy. She is now afraid that whether Foyable has told Mirabel about the important mission, the important errand in which she had sent her. Then Mrs. Maru tries to assure Lady Wisford that Foyable is a very honest, loyal servant. But Lady Wisford knows that loyalty, integrity are nothing before the cunning of Mirabel. If Mirabel senses anything wrong, he will be forceful to bring out the truth from Foible. And that makes her anxious. At that time, Foible returns. And so Lady Wisford urges Mrs. Maru to hide in her closet when she will interrogate Foyable. So here the fourth scene ends. In the 
Act 3, Scene 5, Foyabul enters into Lady Wisford's room and Lady Wisford rushes to question her. She asks why she was absent for such a long time and what had she told Mirabel. Foyabul tells her a lie that she has not betrayed Lady Wisford before Mirabel and she also adds that she had shown her picture to Sir Roland and Sir Roland has immediately in love with Lady Wisford. Firebull also adds that Mirabel has insulted Lady Wisford by saying that Lady Wisford is trying to be rich by marrying a rich man and this information enrages Lady Wisford. She says that uh, she is unable to control her anger and she wants to kill Mirabel by poisoning his wine. Then Foyable suggests that instead she should starve him by marrying Sir Roland because it will disinherit Mirabel. Then Foyable tells Lady Wisford that till now Mirabel thinks that Lady Wisford wants Sir Roland to marry Milament and he is not aware about Lady Wisford's own interest in Sir Roland. So, but it uh, makes Lady Wisford very angry because she feels that Mirabel is so proud that he can think that he is able to interfere in her plan and so she tells that she will marry Sir Roland tomorrow and she will be engaged to him tonight. Then she tells uh, that or she worries whether Sir Roland will be expressive, will be frank and obvious in his love or he will, pay, he, uh, he will play coy or shy and hopes the first move from her. Lady Wisport says Fireball that she will not play the first role. She will not propose Sir Roland as she is old fashioned. She also tells that she will behave little scornful, slightly disdainful to excite his interest in her. Lady Wisford also asks Foyable to tell more about Sir Roland, whether he is handsome. When Foyable assures her that he is bricks, she hopes that Sir Roland will play all the moves and she will not be in a need to propose him. And here the fifth scene of the third act ends. So we can find that the scene 4 and scene 5 is very important because Mrs. Marud's hiding in the closet in the scene 4 is a very important incident in the play because it makes Mrs. Marud enable to learn about the whole plan of Mirabel. And in the scene 5, we find Lady Wisford is a vain woman who wants to marry Sir Roland because of her frustrated love for Mirabel. It is also humorous that Mirabel is getting angry about Lady Wisford's plan to marry Sir Roland, which is actually a part of his own plan. So here the scene 5 of the third act ends. At the end of the act 3 scene 5, Lady Wisford leaves Foyable at the dressing table and she leaves the room forgetting totally about Mrs. Marut who is now hiding in Lady Wisford's closet. So in this situation, the scene 6 begins. 
so now the audience can see only fireball on the stage and then mrs fainal enters into the stage mrs fainal warns fireball that mrs marud has watched fireball while she was talking with mirabel and mrs marud would surely inform lady wisford about it so now fireball feels uneasy fireball feels coy because fireball doesn't know till then that mrs fainal is completely aware about mirabel's plan to marry milament but when mrs fainal tells fireball that she knows everything including fireball's marriage with wait with wait well that morning so then fireball apologizes to mrs fainal and he compliments that mirabel is such a good gentleman and she also praises mrs fainal's generosity then fireball informs mrs fainal that her mother lady wisford is very eager to marry sir roland fireball also informs mrs fainal that they must be cousins of mrs marud who is keeping a watch on them and then mrs fainal leaves the room with fireball taking the servant's staircase to avoid mrs marud and here the act 3 scene 6 ends so at the beginning of the scene 7 we find that mrs marud now comes out of the closet where she was hiding she is now alone on the stage and she has got a lot of vital information which can help her to destroy mirabel's plan so she is now completely unable to counter mirabel's plan she has also received a vital information that once mrs fainal and mirabel was in a close relationship and she plans to use this information to separate mr fainal and mrs fainal so here the scene 7 ends in the beginning of scene 8 lady wisford enters into the room and she finds mrs marud she apologizes to mrs marud because she has completely forgotten about mrs marud Mrs Maru responds that she has been well entertained in the closet then lady wisford informs her that his nephew sir willful witwood will visit her house before he will go to france to educate to develop himself so it in kindles mrs marud spite for mirabel mrs marud suggests that as sir willful is almost 40 years old he should think about getting married not a continental tour and she suggests that sir willful will be a good match for milament and it also makes lady wisford happy and she says that she will think about her suggestion so here we find that mrs marud is very spiteful about mirabel and once again she wants to destroy his dream to marry milament but his plan will be helped by this marriage suggestion of mrs marud later in the play then in the scene 9 fireball again enters into, into the room and informs the ladies that witwood and petulant have arrived 
Lady Wisport requests Mrs. Maru to entertain the guests and in the meantime she wants to be ready to entertain the guest. So here the scene 9 ends. In the act 3 scene 10, Mrs. Marut enters into the hall and there she finds not Witwood or Petulant but Milament with her servant Mincing. And Milament is in a really very bad mood. She is very much angry because Petulant is disagreeing with whatever she says that day. Then Marut says that Milament should stop this kind of behavior. She has been entertaining the fools like Witwood and Petulant only to hide her emotions for Mirabel. And Milament should be open, should accept her love for Mirabel before the people of the town. So Milament senses that Mrs. Marut is aware about her love for Mirabel. And so she wants to leave the place at once. And she tells Mincing to bring Witwood and Petulant because Milament prefers the company of Witwood and Petulant than to be lectured by Mrs. Marut. And here the Act 3, Scene 10 ends. As soon as Mincing departs to call Witwood and Petulant at the end of Scene 10, the conversation between Milament and Mrs. Marut turns nasty. Milament is now really angry and she wants to hit at the soft place of Mrs. Marut that she loves Mirabel. Milament tells Mrs. Marut that Mirabel loves her. This fact is as much a secret as it is a secret that Mrs. Marut once revealed to Lady Wisfoot that Mirabel loves Milament and she did it because she loved Mirabel. Now Mrs. Marut does not get angry because she knows that she is in a better position than Milament. She knows a lot of things and she can defeat Milament. So she only tells Milament that she is upset and she must try to cool, uh, cool her down. Then Milament laughs at her face and tells Mrs. Marut that she is upset because of Mirabel's love for her, which she doesn't care. She also tries to convince Mrs. Marut that she never encouraged Mirabel's love for her because she doesn't care or love Mirabel. She also tells Mrs. Marut that she is surprised that Mirabel loves her when Mrs. Marut herself is as young and beautiful as she. So Mrs. Marut gets angry and tells Milament that her happiness will not last long. And here the scene 11 of third act ends. Here we find that Milament tries to laugh forcefully and she does this whenever she finds herself in a very difficult situation and she have and she doesn't have proper words for argument and this is the that kind of situation in the scene 12 we find that mincing returns and tells milament that the men are ready to meet and then Milament instruct Mincing to ask the singer who is hired for that night to sing a favorite song of Milament. And this small scene ends here. The scene 13 opens when 
Witwoud and Petulan returns to the stage and Milament asks them if their argumentative spirit has been cooled, whether they are still arguing with each other and they say that in some day they are in mood of argument and this is this that kind of a day and their foolish arguments still goes on that makes milament angry and she very clearly tells that she doesn't like an ignorant like petulant but that fails to discourage petulant and milament feels disgusted in company of witwoud and petulant and she leaves them so now in the stage we find witwoud petulant and mrs marut and here begins the scene 14 of third act these three characters notice that sir willful is being brought to the house of lady wisford by a footman and sir willful cannot recognize his half brother witwoud because of his fashionable dress and witwoud does not remember his brother consciously because he is assumed of the unfashionable dress and manners of sir willful witwoud and so he is not ready to recognize his brother sir willful even when mrs marut scolds him for this he is not ready to recognize his brother and sad willful feels as lost because lady wisford is still not ready to meet him and he cannot recognize witwoud petulant or mrs marut here scene 15 begins here we find that sad willful talks with mrs marut and he introduces himself as the nephew of lady wisford then mrs marut tells him that he has reached in a friend zone and here is no here no one is his enemy and then uh, with some hints from Mrs. Marut, Sir Willful recognizes Witwoud as Antony, which is his first name. His full name is Antony Witwoud, and he calls him as Tony. Then Witwoud also recognizes him, and before that, Witwoud asks Petulant to talk with Witwoud on his behalf and to hackle him, to insult him by pointing out his dirty boots and his uncivilized manners. But then we find in this scene the good nature of Sir Willful. Sir Willful tells that he cannot recognize Witwoud because of his fashionable London dress but he feels hurt that Witwoud that means Antony Witwoud cannot recognize him. He tells that tells the group that he fears he fears it that Witwoud may have been changed. He says that he noticed this change from when Witwoud leaves out the proper salutations to his brother in his letters and begin and began to include the description of his sexual conquest and unwholesome adventures he tells that when antony started to live in london as a clerk of Carnival's Inn. Then 
he wrote tender letters to Sir Wilful and sends regards to his old country friends. So Petulant picked this information that once we would used to work as a clerk in Farnival's Inn. So we would tell that this was his only way to escape the countryside and the life his brother had planned for him as an apprentice to a felt maker. But now he did uh, now he doesn't work there, rather he has set himself in a fashionable job. So here we find that the two brothers are quite different to each other. Uh, then Mrs. Marut asks Sir Wilful about his plan for continental tour and Sir Wilful tells her that he wants to visit the neighboring countries to improve himself but before that he wants to learn the French language and then Mrs. Marut tells him about an institute of French language and here the Scene 15 of Third Act ends. In scene 16, Lady Wisford and Mrs. Fennell enters into the stage and she recognizes his nephew, uh, she recognizes her nephew and she introduces Sir Wilful to all other characters. Sir Wilful feels grateful and he thanks her that she has not forgotten him as his half brother and lady whisford tries to assure him that it is a fashion of london to not recognize one's relation and there is no wrong in whitwood's behavior so we find that lady whisford is as foolish and as empty minded as whitwood and petulant there is no difference between them at that time, Min Singh enters into the stage and this is the beginning of scene 17 and she informs that dinner is ready for them. And Sir Wilful asks everybody whether they are ready to wait for him when he will pulls off the pair of boots and puts on a pair of slippers. Then Lady Whisper chides him that this is a bad manner. He cannot open, uh, that means takes off his boot before the other guests. So he must go to the hall and takes off his boot and then puts on the slippers. And all will wait for him at the table. And here the scene 17 of third act ends. So we have reached at the end of the act 3. This is the last scene, the scene number 18. Here we find that except Mrs. Marut and Mr. Fainol, all other characters are busy at dinner. Fainol and Marut are talking in a room in Lady Wisford's house and Marut had informed about Fainol's involvement in Mirabet's secret plan to marry Milament and also about Mrs. Fennel's former affair with Mirabel. Fennel exclaims that this is the way of the world. Here we find that the two cruelest characters of this play find the world a dark place. So they see the world how they are. And Fainol feels that in this world only that man advances who are good at scheming, at plotting. Then Mrs. Marut advises Fainol to look at the brighter side of this darker world, of this bad news that upsets Fainol. Mrs. Fainol tells uh, Mrs. Marut tells Fennel that Mrs. Fennel's affair with Mirabel 
is the reason which now phenyl can use to be separated from his wife and uh, phenyl now curses and blames mrs phenyl uh, sorry mrs marut that if she had not interfered in mirabel's earlier plan to flatter lady wisfort and to marry milament then now he would have already occupied a large fortune because in that case mirabel would marry milament without lady wisfort's permission and she would surely disinherit milament and then milament's property would have come to mrs Ma mrs uh, fenal and then fenal would have got access to that money so now marut urges him to stay with his wife for some time more until they get the property of mrs fenal and marut also tells fenal another plan she tells fenal that now mr fenal can reveal the truth about mrs fenal's affair with mirabel before lady wisfort and can threat her to leave his wife because of this adulterous affair and marud and fenal both know it very well that lady wisfort can do anything to save the reputation of her daughter and to quiet the news so that's how fenol can blackmail lady wisfort and can have the fortune of milament so fenol likes this plan though it's quite risky because fenol has to unmask his real cruel self before lady wish foot marud now apologizes that she has done a mistake she has suggested the marriage between milament and sir willful witwood to lady wish foot and if milament accepts sir willful then it can become an obstacle to their new plan then fenol assures her that he is going to get sir willful so drunk that milament will feel disgusted in his presence and will surely reject sir willful and fenol uh, also said that they will be victorious he hates his wife and they will surely start a new life and fenol also rationalizes his relationship his adulterous extramarital affair with marut he says that he has not married for honor and so his separation from his wife will not dishonor him again cheating which is involved in every marriage and marriage is regarded as an honorable institution so that establishes the fact that cheating must be some honorable act and in this way he rationalizes that his tricks with his wife with his mother in law will be regarded as honorable then the two adulterers plan the next step to counter mirabel's plot marut says that she will write an anonymous letter to lady wisfort when she will be with sir roland and in that letter she will reveal the real identity of sir roland and foible's betrayal to lady wisfort after that fenol says that if the situation gets worse he will turn his wife out of his house because he has already got his wife 
to transfer the deed of her estate to his name and so there is now no problem to turn her out of his house now marut asks mr fenol if he still thinks that she loves mirabel and if he is still jealous fenol says that he was never jealous and he promises that he will never be cruel again in that way and he seals his promise with a kiss and here the act 3 scene 18 ends so this is the plot of act 3 so that's all for today so if you like this video i request you to please give a thumbs up in the form of like and also share this video with your friends and if you a lover of english literature then i humbly request you to be a subscriber of this channel because you will get here a regular upload of quality content that's all for today thank you